Night vision or thermal? You've been in the dark about this stuff for a while now, but tonight I want to help shed some light on the situation. Team, tonight we're going to cover two critical tools that are essential for our operations in low light environments, night vision and thermal imaging. Understanding the capabilities and limitations of each is crucial for mission success. In the field, when ambient light is scarce, night vision is our go-to. It amplifies the available light from the moon, stars, or other distant sources, granting us the ability to conduct surveillance and navigate terrain under the cloak of darkness. The display, that familiar greenish hue, provides us with the detail necessary to identify threats and assets. However, it's important to remember that complete darkness, sudden bright exposures, or obscurance like smoke and fog can degrade its effectiveness. We need to adapt quickly in those situations. Switching to thermal imaging. This technology is indispensable for its ability to detect heat signatures. Regardless of the lighting condition, thermal imaging cuts through total darkness, offering us a strategic advantage. It detects subtle temperature differences and presents them in a spectrum of colors. This capability is key for identifying living targets, including those attempting to use cover to their advantage. The downside? Not much. With modern technology, that positive ID you get with night vision is now possible with thermal. To sum up, night vision and thermal imaging are both invaluable assets in our operational toolkit. Night vision gives us detail we need in low light scenarios, while thermal imaging allows us to see the unseen. As Americans, Mastering these tools can mean the difference between mission failure and mission success. Next, I want to really break down these two assets in order to help you understand the science behind the technologies. But first, a message from our sponsor. You ever just out brushing your horse in the barn and you think to yourself, God damn, life is good. But it could be better if I could save a little bit of money on ammunition. Well, now you can. Just head on over to Widener's Shooting and Reloading Supply and use code IDAHO for a discount on bulk orders. This is America, and it's good to be alive. Welcome back. Night vision and thermal imaging are two distinct technologies that enable enhanced vision capabilities in low light or no light conditions. Here's a breakdown of how each one works and their main differences. Night vision devices, also known as image intensifiers, amplify the visible and near-infrared light to create a brighter image of a dark scene. This technology relies on available light sources, such as the moon, stars, or infrared illuminators to function. Night vision can be impaired if there is complete darkness or if there's too much light, such as in urban environments with street lights. Light enters the night vision device and hits a photocathode, which converts photons into electrons. These electrons then pass through a microchannel plate where they're multiplied. Upon hitting a phosphor screen, the electrons are converted back into photons, creating a greenish hued image for the user to see through the eyepiece. The advantage of night vision is it provides a detailed image of the environment, allowing for recognition of faces, patterns, and shapes, making it better for navigation. It's also typically less expensive, and its efficient power consumption often outperforms thermal. The disadvantage is it doesn't function well in complete darkness without an IR illuminator and it can be blinded by sudden bright lights. It also cannot see through smoke, dust, or fog and does not detect heat. Also, also they're fairly delicate with either light exposure or hard use having catastrophic effect on the inner workings and rendering the tool useless. A thermal camera has a special lens that focuses infrared light onto an array of temperature sensitive detectors called thermobolometers. These detectors create a detailed temperature pattern called thermogram. The thermogram is then converted into electrical impulses that are translated into data for the display, where it's rendered in various colors that correspond to temperature differences. The advantages of thermal imaging is it works in complete darkness, it can see through smoke, dust, light, and fog. It can also detect warm bodies in dense environments, and it's excellent for spotting hidden or camouflaged objects. They typically come with built-in magnification, and they usually have the ability to be used as a standalone weapon optic. They're durable, 
and can be used during the daytime. The primary disadvantage of thermal is it's generally more expensive and requires a larger power supply. That about does it guys. I really hope the information in this video helps out. I wanted it to be more informative instead of just entertaining. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about it. If you want to learn more, Patreon's the place to go. Exclusive content there. I can really use the support. It is only with help from you guys that I can continue to make videos like this one. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, check out my older ones. There's some valuable information to be gathered there. Thank you guys.